Sonic Generations as the best, the best, and I mean the matter of fact, the best 3D Sonic game ever created. I don't want to see anyone go, eh, what about Sonic Adventure? Sha! No, no, your nostalgia has blinded you. Sonic Generations is what the next new Sonic game has to surpass because everything that came after this was just disgusting. Apart from Sonic Mania. Everyone loves this game, but I don't know anyone who doesn't. You can't physically, mentally, socially hate this game. It's just a fact. This appeals to every Sonic fan possible. Just like Unleashed, there's two sections to the game, except, except there's no will. But instead, we get a 2D part, which honestly... <laughs> Which honestly, I'm not really a big fan of, which is crazy, which is crazy because I prefer the 2D over 3D. The 2D part of Sonic, as you can see with your very own eyes, just feels, just feels clunky to me. It's not responsive, he feels heavy and floaty, and contrasting with the 3D section, it's pretty boring. It's not bad, uh, and I'm not trying to hate on it, it's just, this game was designed for 3D Sonic in mind. They just switched this part to 2D, and removed all the moves like boosting and drifting. But anyways, like I said, it's not bad, it's still fine, I mean look at it. Look at and look how beautiful it is with these immaculate, immaculate HD graphics. <laughs> it's just if there was one flaw, if there was one flaw for me, then it's the 2D. Other than that, this game just slaps harder than Will Smith. This is a Sonic game I could replay over and over and over and over again. Everything about this is just so right. And it needs, it demands, it needs, and demands a remaster. I know there's people that want Sonic Generations 2, but I don't think they can. They, they physically cannot because they've done everything in this one. Everything. I mean, you got the originals all the way to Sonic. Sonic Colors. What more do you want? <laughs> what has Sonic done in the last 10 years? Exactly. Unless you want reimagined levels from Sonic the Lost World, Sonic Boom and Sonic Forces, then be my guest. <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> Sega is also releasing a new game called Sonic Origins, which is essentially the original games in HD with brand new animated cutscenes and whatnot, which, which gets me so excited because I uh, haven't played the originals in a very, a very long time. So making a video on it once it's here will just be shallow because there's so much history, history and lore and behind the scenes stuff that I think you guys would be interested in. Like, did you know MJ made songs for Sonic 3? Sonic 3! Now let me just enjoy my nostalgia. Ah, look at him go! Look at him go to speed! <laughs> No, I can't be the only one that thinks classic Sonic is more badass and more cooler and more sick than the modern one. I, I, can't, I can't be the only one. Be, may, maybe it's because he doesn't speak, so there's less chance of actual, actual cringe coming out of his mouth. But uh, I, uh, I kind of actually wish Sonic never spoke. Maybe a few phrases here and there, you know, j j you know like how Mario does it. But then again, the movie Sonic was pretty funny, so I think, I think it's just the dialogue in the game. <laughs> hey guys, what's going on? You having a party or something? Ah, here we go, into the 3D, yeah. Uh, I remember when this first came out, it was so unique to see modern day Sonic and some of the uh, old levels from the past games. The gameplay in this is the same as Unleashed, so, you know, it's fast. You just gotta go fast, which is why I think the modern Sonic games, they always have like two sections to them, just, just so it can last longer, because if it was just all this, you know, all the speed, all the speed, all the needful speed, then it'll uh, only be a one hour game. But I think that's also why Sonic Frontiers, which is a new Sonic game, is open world because open world games can last as long as you want. Like think about playing the Spider-Man game. You know half the time, you don't like to me. Half the time you're just web slinging all over the place. So just running around the map with Sonic with so much speed seems like a good idea. You know Sonic needs this. He needs the next era of success. Mario has been eating ever since gaming transitioned into 3D. I don't, I don't even think Mario sees Sonic as his rival anymore. Sonic needs to shake up the industry. You know, you know, show them who's boss. Uh, he was a king back in the 90s and one day, one day he will reclaim the song that Mario's fat ass, fat ass has been all gonna sweaty, sweaty fat ass. <laughs> uh, what am I saying? Uh, Sonic Frontiers uh, basically has to be good. I'm talking about Mario Odyssey can be good. A timeless masterpiece. That's what I want to see. If not, if not, then Sega should just give the Sonic IP to Nintendo. You know, then I can guarantee, I can guarantee we will see some of the best in the entire franchise because Nintendo know what they're doing. They made me feel for Kirby. This pink shit. They made me feel for him. That's, that's when you know, that's when you know they know how to do it. But anyways, I can never, I can never get enough of the Unleashed engine. I mean, look how exciting and enthralling. Look at the words I'm using and entertaining this looks. I don't even need to really edit that much because just look at it. You, you, you just can't. It's just, just whoa. <laughs> I'm sorry, but goddamn, goddamn, every time I'm in the rush of Sonic speed, it just hypes me up. Like, let me just usher in my love for Sonic right now. <laughs> goddamn it. 
God damn it, just give me a remaster. Give me a remaster of Tony Jane Reasons. I need it. Give it to me. Give it to me. I want it. Give me what I want. Just give it to me. <laughs> Being a Sonic fan uh, is uh, intoxicating. Uh, it just, it just, you know, I don't know. So much potential on that blue hedgehog that must be released. That is all. You know the one thing that sparks my curiosity are the level choices. I mean, you got Green Hell, which is a masterpiece. You got Chemical Plan, which has one of the most funkiest, funkiest songs ever. And has the what, what? Sky Sanctuary gives me severe anxiety because I'm afraid of heights. You got Speed Highway, which is cool as shit. City Escape, which goes to <laughs> one ring the bank and needs a speed of sound. Go places to go, God, I'll jump on the rainbow. And then we got my favorite. We got my favorite. <laughs> We got my favorite ah, Seaside Home from Sonic Heroes! And also, these are uh, pretty good as well. But nothing, and I mean nothing, compares to Seaside Hill. Oh, well, alright, we are in! <laughs> I just have to showcase Seaside Hill. I, I just got a mother. Mother, I am in heaven. It's just too nostalgic for me. I'm a kid. I'm a baby champ once again. I love this so much. You guys don't understand how much I love this. It brings me so many feelings that I cannot describe. Listen to that music! Listen to that guitar riff! You know, everyone's got that one Sonic game. Everyone's got that one Sonic game. And for me, for me, it's Sonic Heroes, and Sonic Heroes, goddammit. One day I will make a video on this wonderful game because I truly, I truly feel it's not represented enough. And I would happily sell my left kidney for a remaster or a remake, but but I don't think I will ever see the light of day ever again, which is why, which is why Sonic Generations is another reason people love this game. And the words of IGN, and the words of IGN, it has a little something for everyone. Seems like it just brings me so much happiness. Like, I'm getting goosebumps. Shit. I'm actually, I'm actually getting goosebumps. Like, it's over. It's over. Like, my heart is just melting with so much love. I'm getting emotional. I'm getting emotional. Ah. Oh. Oh, yeah. let, me just, let me just enjoy myself. Let, let me, let me just enjoy myself. That's all I needed. That's all I needed. That made my day. That I needed that nostalgia. I needed that. You know, the one thing you gotta know is that everyone's favorite Sonic game is just gonna be the one they grew up with. Like in a few years' time, we're gonna, we're, people are gonna talk highly of Sonic Forces because it's the one they grew up with. But if we were to look at them as actual games, then the classics are just better in every single way. And Sonic Generations was just so faithful to the franchise and is my go-to modern 3D Sonic game, which again is crazy because this game is now considered a retro. It's ancient, it's all that shit. <laughs> I can only hope that Frontiers and the next era of Sonic games can evolve into something special, something different, something unique, something magical, like the classics did. But that doesn't change the fact that Sonic Heroes is the best one! Whoa! Enjoy your future! It's gonna be great!